Also in Greene County, the Bloomfield Cardinals looking to start the year 3 0 as they welcome Shackamack. And hey, look, there's our buddy Ron McBride with former player Mitchell Birch. Good to see them there. And they will like this. Peter Combs following the play. Throw it down, big man. That is fun. Let's see that again. Combs gets up, man. A fundamentally sound play from him. Peter is 6'8. Watch out for him this season. But Shackamack has a good player in JT May. He steps back for the three, and the Lakers off to a solid start, 8-4 to four there. Other end, it's Bracey Neal for the Cardinals, and Bloomfield started to rally. This game was entertaining back and forth. Will Miller here, no stopping him, and Shackamack has some talent for Coach Brody Crow, but Combs kept responding a double-double with 16 points and 12 rebounds. Bloomfield led 12-8 to eight at that point. Back the other way, Kane Wade at the free throw line and the Lakers hanging around. But the Cardinals, Justin Beard with the three. He made five of them. Justin with 17 points. Blake Neal added 13. And the Cards win 71-42. Grant. Thank you, Omar. A big, big night in Knox County. We start with the county showdown. South Knox 2-0. Impressive wins over Sullivan and Evansville Harrison on the season. Tonight, they're welcoming their neighbors from Bicknell for a big tilt. Always great when North and South Knox come together. Spartans waste little time. Off the miss early, it's Sam Singleton getting the rebound and the basket, jumping out to a 2-0 lead for the home team. Very next possession, Singleton open in the corner for three. Quick 5-0 spurt for him, and South Knox is rolling. Kyson Park Parker of North Knox gets the Warriors on the board as this one's 